Here is another breast biopsy. Notice we have ductal structures here, 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 here. Notice we have fat. Notice we have an abundant amount of fibrous tissue. Um, how do you know that this is a biopsy of a male breast rather than a female besides believing me? I'll tell you how you can tell. In a male breast biopsy, even if the breast is enlarged, i.e. gynecomastia, the one thing that you'll notice is that there is really no lobule formation. You kind of have these little blunt ducts ending, and you don't see asini and lobules like you do in the female breast. Notice that probably the majority of this uh, breast is enlarged because of fibrous tissue. Let's go to another area. We could see some more uh, kind of blunt ducts with no lobule formation. And of course, if you want to zoom in, uh, you could see that the uh, nuclei here do not look uh, terribly bad. They seem to be rather uniform. And of course, these blunt ducts are still shaped like ducts. There's no evidence whatsoever for any kind of infiltration either. And if you look uh, throughout this fibrous tissue, all it is is uh, occasional fibroblasts like here, here, blood vessels, and sometimes a little bit of fat, perhaps. Notice there is a little bit of softer connective tissue around the ducts and the breast, but there is never any uh, lobular formation. Gynecomastia is uh, a benign condition of male breast enlargement seen in a variety of situations. Generally hyperestrogenism would do it for any reason, but also certain drugs. I think uh, digitalis and marijuana and a whole bunch of other things are on the list. This is gynecomastia. Thank you very much.